Hi everyone. I'd like to take a quick run through uh, the steps to activate or reactivate the license uh, within your EPDM system. This would be something that would be required uh, if you were upgrading your EPDM system uh, to the latest release. You'd need a new license file and have to deposit that in the correct location. And or if you were installing a new uh, instance of your EPDM system, you would need to be entering in the license information for the first time. As you can see, I've opened up the EPDM administration tool, uh, and conveniently in my case from a, an icon on the desktop. We'll choose the vault in question and log into it. Once we've logged in uh, to the administration tool and into our vault, we're able to see all the various functionality nodes which make up the components of the vault or the EPDM system. One of these functionality nodes is related directly to the license file for EPDM. That licensing information uh, comes by way of a simple text file that is either sent from your SolidWorks reseller or obtained through the SolidWorks customer portal. Every customer has the ability to log into the SolidWorks customer portal and access that new license file. In some cases it would come directly via email from either your SolidWorks reseller or from SolidWorks themselves. So let's go about installing the license file uh, into our EPDM system. Here I'll double click on the license node uh, within our vault and here we're able to see the various vaults that are currently uh, being used on the server. Additionally, in the lower portion of the dialog box we can see the various licenses that are available within our EPDM system. And this would essentially be the number of simultaneous users permitted by your license. If we want to update the information, we'll choose the ellipsis here at the end of the license file double click and choose the location in which we have saved our license text file. Double click on that license file and say OK and that new information has now been loaded into the EPDM system. If you're looking to confirm that licensing information here we can double click on the license node once again, verify the values and simply cancel out as there's no operation to perform. And once again, this procedure would be a necessity if you were upgrading your EPDM vault and or were performing the initial installation of an EPDM system.